empower and entrust motivated teams. This principle lies at the heart of agile methods. Empowerment of teams leads to their taking ownership of processes, products, and initiatives. Empowerment enhances responsibility and accountability. This is a two-way street with agile methods. That is, empowerment of teams involves both top-down as well as bottom-up approaches. The development team estimate effort, commit to delivery, and deliver, unlike what is followed in some traditional development approaches, where estimation is done by somebody, commitment to the customer is given by somebody else, and finally, somebody else is responsible for the actual delivery. Provide early visibility and continuous value delivery. Early visibility to key stakeholders, including team members, sponsors, management, customers, and users. This gives an opportunity for getting feedback early. Deliver potentially shippable product. Ship the working product and make it available for customers and end users sooner than later. Use demos, showcases, and show and tell sessions to give a sneak peek into the product for customers and users. This facilitates to get feedback earlier and helps us with taking course corrections. Embrace change for compelling competitive advantage. Change is for better. Change helps to lead. Preparing and responding to change gives a leading competitive edge. Be nimble to embrace and adapt change. Agility, not just the ability of businesses, is important for responding to changes. More so, leadership is about being proactive by predicting the changes and making the first move to respond to the changes. Continuous delivery of working products in time boxes. Continuous development, continuous integration, and continuous delivery are key to success in agile development methods. Time boxing helps to a great extent to set the expectations and work around these. Manage the four key variables of time, cost, quality, and scope in the successful project management scenarios. Collaborative working among business teams and developers. Collaboration enhances teamwork, innovation, and creativity among the team, customers, and users. This works well with multidisciplinary teams, the cross-cultural teams with multiple skills and roles in different organizations. Collaboration also helps with working in distributed teams, spread across different geographies, for instance. Sustainable development with constant pace. Development and delivery should be well-planned and executed with a consistent speed. Plan iterations into major and minor releases for better release and feature management. Schedule and package features, that is functionality and work into time boxed iterations for better management. Reflect, retrospect and adapt continuously. Iterations should be planned, executed and reviewed periodically. Hold regular reviews and retrospective sessions for products and processes. Inspect, 
adapt and improve continuously and consistently across the processes and also the product feature development. Self-organizing teams create best outputs. Teams are self-reliant and self-motivated to organize and execute the work. Management commitment and support are required to facilitate the teams to work and deliver smoothly. Lightweight structures and fewer levels and roles help with the teams working like a well-oiled machine with smooth communication. Focus and prioritize on important and urgent tasks and activities. Focus on the value delivery customers and users that is critical for success in agile methods. Prioritize on the importance and urgency from the point of view of delivery of business value to customers and users. Quick delivery of business value is key. The technology is a medium, but business goals and value are the drivers. Technical and design excellence for better agility. Refactoring and maintaining good code quality to address the technical debt. This should be done very often in the projects and this must be well planned. Remove spaghetti code. Code blocks with too many references should be addressed and straightened at the earliest. Include architectural spikes into the iterations for removing monolithic blocks and dependencies. Engage people with effective communication. Continuously engage the stakeholders for continuous commitment of support and resources to the Agile project, program or initiative. Constant communication with the team and stakeholders enhances the visibility of the project progress. Use multiple channels, platforms and devices to communicate with the team, stakeholders, customers and users. That is people both internal and external to the organization. Track progress via working product. Tracking and reporting the progress is vital for the success of agile product development. Create and use evaluation measures and metrics. As they say, measure it to manage it. The measures and metrics enhance the visibility and are a great tool in managing the progress. Track, monitor and take control actions. Use measures and metrics for tracking productivity, effort, schedule and progress in agile projects. For instance, velocity and burn down charts are a great help 